I want to dedicate today's video to a very special little girl named Olivia. Hi, Olivia. She is the daughter of one, a very good friend of mine from high school. She saw my recent video on the Jouer Tan Lines uh, palette review and she really wanted, she asked her mother, she said, I want her to use that pretty blue color in the palette. I think she was talking about this color right here because she wanted a mermaid look. How cute is that? What better time than the summer than to show some mermaid love? I happen to have loved mermaids my whole life, totally into that. And it also inspired me to finally open my Blue Blood palette. I have been sitting on this. I'm late to the game, I realize. Without further ado, let's get into this mermaid-inspired look for sweet little girl Olivia. So I've already, thankfully, have my base on because this is about the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Brightening Booster. Please try to ignore my hair. I couldn't sleep last night. I drank way too much coffee. So I decided at like two o'clock in the morning to curl my hair so that I would look more like a mermaid and then I slept on it. But don't fret because I plan on fixing that at the end of the video. So we have our base laid down here, sort of a sticky, creamy base, like I said, and I'm not going to set it with powder because I want these colors to really pop. I'm gonna go in with this color right here called Celebrity Skin. Ooh, I'm really afraid. I think we need to slowly build this mermaid eye look up. I'm gonna go in with this color right here called Blue Monday. Like I said, I have not tried any of these yet, so I'm a little bit, a little bit shy here. I'm going in with a very light hand at first because I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm dealing with here yet. Actually, I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do one eye at a time. Let me just finish this color. It's just easier for filming and stuff. <laughs> so we'll just concentrate on this eye right here. So I'm just really packing that color Blue Monday on. It's sort of an, a violet blue, sapphire. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush with nothing on it and just sort of softly blend out these edges a little bit. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in right in with the color Vitamin C. This is the color that sweet Olivia was particularly interested in seeing. So I'm gonna go in with that on a clean finger. I have not swatched this. That is a true like sea foam mint green color with a lot of shimmer. And I'm just gonna slightly blend that into that Blue Monday. That together is gorgeous. Do you guys see that? Wow. I'm gonna tap over a little bit of Blue Monday, give it a little bit of shimmer, what the heck. Okay, Olivia, I see you. I see why you wanted me to do that color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Good call. I'm gonna bring that all the way into the inner corner. Ooh, she's really pretty. She is a pretty color. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna use the color Undertaker, which is the dark matte blue in the Jeffree Star palette. I'm just gonna sort of blend right in here, this upper edge, and then going back in, Celebrity Skin again, buff out just that edge a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the color Ocean Ice from the Blue Blood palette. Just an unbelievable color right here. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I'm gonna take a little bit of the color Entitled, which is a shimmery turquoise. And I'm gonna put that in between so we have more of a gradient between the dark blue into that vitamin C color. I'm gonna do a little bit of eyebrow highlight. Cullinan, which is there, a light shimmer just under the arch of the eyebrow here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other eye off camera and put some eyeliner on and we'll finish up this look together. I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. I just went with the Ardell 814 Faux Mink. I didn't want anything too full. I wanted to be able to see my eyeshadow. And I put a little bit of the color I've got the blue from L'Oreal and the L'Oreal Infallible line. It is a true electric blue. And then right underneath that, I did that in the, the waterline just about halfway. 
Then right underneath that, I smudged a little bit of the Sephora waterproof. This is the color Riding the Wave. Basically, these two colors here. About halfway, this is the L'Oreal, and this is the Sephora. So I did those two colors about halfway across on the bottom. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Maybelline Gel Pot, the black. This comes with its own brush, and it actually is a really good brush. So I'm just gonna run that a little bit in the inner corner here, just to sort of define that a little bit. And let's see, what else? I think I'm gonna take a very small amount of the color Cullinan from the Blue Blood Palette, which was that blue blood, that's really hard to say, Blue Blood Palette. And I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, we're almost there. I really like this. I think any time is a good time to be a mermaid, but especially the summertime. If you are looking to break out of your comfort zone, the summertime, to me, is the best time to play. I'm using a little bit of peach blush by L'Oreal just to sort of warm up my face a little bit. And I think I'm gonna go back in also with my Mac Give Me Sun. I am just about out of this. Look at this. I just put in an order. You know what? I take it back. I just put in an order with Mac and I just realized I forgot to put the Mac Give Me Sun in my order. Oh, I know why, because I'm trying to work through some of my other, my other bronzers. That's why. Never mind. Do a little bit of fixing, fixing spray, Urban Decay Quick Fix. I'm going to use a little bit of Jouer Funfetti as my highlighter because no mermaid can be complete without some highlighter. So this is the Jouer Cosmetics highlighter in the color Funfetti that I, I like to save it for special occasions, but do you guys see the glow? Yes, nice and fresh. Do you guys see sort of a very gold undertone? I'm going to lightly line my lips because I do have lip gloss on. I'm gonna lightly line, lightly line my lips with a lip liner of no particular brand. I have no idea where I got this lip liner, but it's slightly darker than my own lip color. And to keep with the theme of Jouer Funfetti, I am using the Jouer Funfetti Lip Topper, which is one of my favorite lip toppers. And I think it's perfect for this look. I think any mermaid would like to have this in her collection. So this is the finished look for my dear sweet Olivia. A little bit of a mermaid vibe going here. And as we all know, mermaids like shiny things. So I put on this this lovely little shiny thing here and a little shiny thing here and some little shiny earrings. Now, for you adults out there, now is the time to try some bold colors. It's summertime. Have fun. It's just makeup. It's not that deep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little mermaid vibe look using a little bit of the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette as well as the color vitamin C from the Jouer Tan Lines palette. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks you guys. Bye bye.